there are no MPIG changes. The pay rise that is likely to be agreed after the resource changes recommended by the DDRB are, are going to uh, increase your income rather than reduce it. As far as the prevalence changes are concerned, practices that have large numbers of younger people are going to experience a drop in income through the COF stream uh, over the next two years. And over those two years, they will see possibly serious loss of income as those practices that have primarily university-based uh, patient catchment uh, will notice that the number of disease payments they get reduces. We can't do much about that because actually the redistribution of money is fair, but individual practices will be affected. And what you can expect is that your primary care organisation will come to you and say, we know who you are and we believe that you will require extra money. You won't get all of your COF money back, but what you should do is be able to negotiate a locally enhanced service that covers the special kinds of things that you offer your patients. And that will include um, whether you look after uh, patients with uh, emotional or psychiatric disturbance, sexually transmitted disease, contraception, counselling services and other things. If you provide those services or services to students at special times, then you should be able to get some money for that. And you and the local medical committee and the PCO should get together to try and sort out how you can be protected from some of the inevitable diminution in income. We can't, at this stage, offer more than words for salaried GPs because all I can do is exhort people to recognise that if you keep doctors underemployed, they'll go somewhere else to work and they may well end up working for the rivals of current GPs. It's not good for the profession not to grow the next generation. What we have to do is find a way of encouraging practices to take them on, preferably as partners, but at least as salaried permanent employees. And the way we do that is to make practices realise that not having extra doctors is a false economy, that you can't grow your practice without having extra doctors, that you can't deliver better health care without having the right skill mix, which includes other doctors. Your practice won't keep going if it doesn't have extra doctors. And with, uh, with a different tack, I'm trying to persuade the government to start looking at regulating where doctors can set up practice or can grow their practices so that we can start encouraging practices to take on more doctors through other contractual means. That's going to take a while, but I believe we can get there too because the government is certainly interested in talking to us about it. We can't stop a democratically elected government doing what it wants with the NHS. We can't stop it changing our contracts and although it can't change them truly unilaterally it certainly can impose changes on us in ways that we regard as unacceptable. All we can do is fight back when they try and impose things. We cannot stop them doing what they are determined to do unless we are unified and stand up for them. There have been no negotiations with government or with NHS employers on any matters to do with MPIG. MPIG is a guarantee and the main part of that is correction factor, which is how much you get to make your money up to the historical uh, amount that you used to get. What will happen with correction factor in this year is that there's a ratio arrangement that will tend to diminish correction factor for most practices. What we want to see is a fair system that uses correction factor properly and that we are bought out of rather than we have to lose money. The government now appears to understand that the only way correction factor can go is to be bought out and what we've been doing is talking with NHS employers on various ways that this could be achieved. No conclusions have been drawn. We don't yet know where this will go. There has been no negotiation. I don't believe there is any imminent risk to anybody, including me, since I have correction factor as well, and we will keep you fully informed uh, as we talk and progress 
uh, our ideas.